Hello friends and welcome back. I am mid mess here um, working on um, adding insides to my little autumn rainbow journal and these little things came off again. So yeah, if they come off, I'm okay with it. If not, I'm okay with it if they pop off. But anyway, <laughs> not I'll get out my trusty old um, my trusty old thing and I'll squeeze the heck out of it again. So, um, all right, so I am back to kind of show you guys, I'm not adding a whole lot of stuff in here, but I do want to, uh, be able to have some pages that I'm going to add some things to. So, um, I got a stockpile here and I thought I would kind of just go over a couple things that I'm adding and we'll just put them in there together. And in the meantime, my daughter got me this beautiful um, dividers. They are glittery dividers by Avery. I have no idea where she got them. I'm assuming Walmart because we don't have like a lot of places, you know, here. So besides Walmart and Dollar Tree and yeah, I mean, we you could go 30 miles and get a little bit more variety, but that's pretty much our go-to. So Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and trim this down, and then I'll go over and we'll pop in the, the pages that we have. I love this. I was so surprised. I've never seen glitter ones. So, okay. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to, this is just some of the stack that I pulled together. You guys, I have ephemera coming out my ears. Um, I need, I want to use it up. You know, it's like that whole saying of use what you got. So I really literally, I barely made a dent and stuff, but I think if I'm more organized, it would probably be more helpful as things fall, are falling off my desk. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna trim this little orange paper down since we are gonna be popping it in to a very thin journal here. And actually, I'm gonna tear to give it a little bit of fun and kind of looks a little spooky, don't you think? So, okay, so I, I will punch and add as I talk about what I pulled out to put in my little journal here. So um, if you weren't watching the one before we put together, um, I'm going to be doing a retreat. So of course I want to have my own little, and I also, it's going to be a road trip, you guys. So um, I have the cover here. We made a little insert pocket to put little goodies in and then I made my tabs which we left off on that and just to kind of show you I went ahead oops I went ahead and popped um, stamped out my dates using my little which I just realized you guys that this is going to expire so I love my little date stamp I have had I've used one since like 2017 or something when I first started doing project life and I absolutely love it so I have to definitely get another one for 2023 and then I used stays on since they were glossy this way I didn't have to worry about waiting forever for them to dry and so yeah um, and I couldn't find my black which I kind of like red anyway so let's go ahead and and that's the charm of being able to use rings other than the rings getting stuck. I don't know about those. Um, I think they're becoming a thorn in my side, the little pretty ringlets. But I'm just going to come in here and punch. And just, you can, I was, what I was saying, sorry, I got a little tongue twisted here, is the joy of using rings is you can change where you put your stuff at. So right now, I'm literally just going to be popping them in the front here but I'm going to be changing it around and I know I'm going to I'm taking my printer with me so I'll be having um, I'll have that available to, to print out my pictures as well I bought extra uh, film too in case anybody else wants to so uh, these are very pretty I I have hoarded this this came from a line from Cartabella look how gorgeous that is gorgeous that is um that's like almost like a watercolor paint by number and I have had this paper 
again it was in my stash I'm gonna put that in the pocket up front because I'm not really sure where I'm gonna include this include it in my journal so I'm gonna add those to the pocket and this cute little pocket here which I, I kind of got it because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it um, if I wanted to make it where it's accessible to open I wonder if you close it that way kind of make it more of an interactive so I'm just going to cut this off and we're going to stick it in there and see if I can get it to work for something but this actually came from a stationery I think it was I think I picked it up and it was American Girl or something so I'm just going to pop those in there and tuck that in I may have to do some trimming when it gets to oh maybe not yeah May have to get to some do some trimming to get it to work exactly the way I want it to. But for now, and I had another one that I pulled out. Oh, there's actually two which are not exactly fall, but I thought this orangey pink with yellow. Um, this I actually got in a Happy Mail. Oh, look, I still got some remnants in there, and. I thought it would be really cute just to add in there because it's another little pocket we can put tag, you know, put little tags down in there, which I thought I could have a tag handy. I don't see my tags around here, but oops, put that in there that would be cool to actually put some journal cards I may go through my journal cards and pick out some to put in there so I thought that was kind of a fun little reusable thing which I love getting cut that kind of happy mail this is really pretty little postcard I've had for a long time um, and I thought it looked very autumn of course, it has an owl on there, so I love that. I'm just going to pop that in there. These are actually the book pages that we that I just cut out of the book, actually. I mentioned that in the earlier video, just to save those book pages, because you can like take them out, paint them, glue them together, do some photos on there. This was actually a piece of mail I got, and... Um, I don't know whether I want to put the whole thing in because you could use it as a pocket. Um, let me just do that for now because I love the little rainbow on there since it is a rainbow retreat and we're going to the rainbow house. So I'm just going to stick that in there. Of course, we got another envelope that it's orange, so I thought that would be fun. You know, I like to save receipts and those kind of things. Or if you take a bunch of pictures of one thing and you don't want to have them all, you could have, you know, stick them in there. You can't pass up a card, putting a card in your journal. And especially with it being Halloween, um, that time frame. Okay, so I ran across this and I was so excited because um, since we're going to Kansas, uh, hello, Wizard of Oz, you know. So... That was perfect. We have to have that in there. And then, of course, I just did this because it's hearts. It's rainbowy heart. Add that. Um, this was so cute. I wanted to... Actually, I think I'm going to cut it, and I can still save the deer. Um, I had, I've had. i been cutting on this folder for a while. It's a Lisa Frank folder. So I think I'm going to cut it right down here. And I can always use the deer, actually, I think I'm just going to use the deer because to me it's more fallish with the owl. Um, but I've been cutting on this folder for a while. I love just adding that, you know, hello, uh, queen of all, uh, rainbow, Lisa Frank. <laughs> So anyway, I wanted to cut the whole folder up, and I was like, no, it's like a huge, one of those really big, gigantic folders, and I didn't want to waste it, you know, by cutting it so small, so that actually works out perfectly, and I think the deer kind of goes with the autumn flow, too. 
Um, this, I am so thrilled. I've had this forever. This was actually held when it was a paper. It held, it was a ream of paper and it had this fun, whimsical um, print on the ream, the packaging that held the ream. I kid you not, you guys, I've had this, I don't even know, long time, 10 years. <laughs> I'm not kidding, seriously. But I've never been like, oh, I've, I've always just had it in my little paper stash and so now I'm using it yay okay graph paper I ran across graph paper that is always fun it has stripes on the other side so that's always fun to add in there and then of course this was my white paper um, 28 pound paper that I use in all my journals it's a good it, help, it does hold watercolor it gets crinkly of course but it's a fun paper to have and then I have my fun little, which it has the holes in there, but I'm okay with it. More holes. And then I'm at my sparkle. So let's close this up. And like I said, the joy of, of, um, oh, I'm so worried squishing my fingers. The joy of having a ring is, I'm, I'm, since I'm going to be putting my book together there, mostly, I can just stick everything in there right now and then move it around with the rings. So look how much fun that is already in there. Lots of different papers. So, um, and I know I've already gotten some postcards. I ordered some postcards off Amazon um, for Kansas. That's going to drive me crazy. I think what I'll do is I'm taking my whole punch with me, so I may just work on that while I'm there. And some of the papers do stick out. I could always trim this off. You know, like, actually do like a little, a little shape to the edging. To, there. Okay, and the other thing I ran across was this. It's a vintage book. It has a cover bridge, which I think, I don't think Kansas has cover bridge, but look at that autumn. The orange leaves, the, thing, um, the yellow. And I really went back and forth over covering this up or just adding this, but I think what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead, oh, we can add our four by six cards in there. I think I'm going to go ahead and add, oh gosh, I'm so on the fence about this. Maybe I'll fix, maybe I'll work on it there because I don't, I'm, I want to say I'm fine with the way that it looks aged, but then... I'm also like, oh, I, I know I know me. I know I'm going to, let's put it in this little pocket. I know how I'm going to be when it gets down to it is, so, and isn't that cute? So I'll just put this in here, and we're going to use it later. Okay, I know I'm going to get down to it and really want to probably change it. So, I did want to show you guys a technique I used in my current journal that I absolutely love, and so I thought it would be fun. To, and I should have heated up my hot glue gun. It only take a second. I did it in, I don't have my other journal in here, but oh my gosh. I loved it, I loved it. Okay, so these are some things that I came across um, that I have been using. These are from, this is all Dollar Tree stuff. Um, I am loving, what happened to my, oh, I guess it's a half a butterfly. I am loving these, you guys. I didn't think I would because they're three-dimensional. I was like, oh, I'm going to hate that in my journal. But I absolutely love them. And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to pull this purple one out. And it's just like I'm obsessed with butterflies right now anyway. I even got me a little charm. These are, I always kind of wear things to remind me of things that I... Um, that I want to work on and do and butterflies are taking that whoops <laughs> what happened okay let's pull you off here there we go um I don't know butterflies are just kind of the thing right now so I found a bunch of other ones that I picked up and I don't think I'm going to put it on that front cover there because um, it will be 
see right here even. And it's just, I mean, and it doesn't, because I thought, oh, it's three-dimensional, but look, it lays flat. But it gives it such a cute look to it. It's just like three-dimensional. So if you guys go to Dollar Tree, I recommend it. I love it. And I'm just taking, these are the window decorations. Um, Crafty Girl actually got me buying these. I would have never picked them up for... Um, as a decoration for my journals and they're actually I ended up buying all of the everybody some of these for the retreat because I love them so much and um, these are some more little stickers that are three-dimensional that are just really really pretty and so I thought I would use them on this page and then I've got one more butterfly that I wanted to add in here. Look at this pretty how pretty this is. These are um, these are also like a three dimensional. Now I actually cut this one down, and I don't see my stapler in here, but I have my hot glue going over there, so oh, I'll just use my hot glue. But I tore it apart like that so that way it doesn't and I kind of bent them up a little bit but see like I could see me even putting that big butterfly over there I think I'm going to put it on the back side of that so let's see if this is warmed up here almost I have a feeling this is going to melt this plastic because this is very hot. So I'm just going to put it on there quickly. And add that to there. But it just gives it that when you... Oh, look. But see, we can move it. This is not... They're not going to be right next to each other. We can move it. But isn't that cute? I just love that. Okay, so, uh, oh, I wanted to show y'all something I did in my um, journal over the week in, no, last week, and I, I loved it. So I think I'm going to do it on this purple page. I need something, I want to do it on a little bit something. Um, a little more sturdy. The leaves, you guys. The fake leaves that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I made like a border out of it. And at first I was kind of like, oh, skeptical whether I would like it or not. But the more I look at it in my journal, the more I absolutely love it. I just make sure I use like different colors. like that. So fun, right? Just because it's like perfect for fall. Kind of gives it that little bit of edge on there. Ooh. What do you guys think? Isn't that cute? I, just, I love it. I <laughs> know. I think I want to do it in all my journals. But anyway, all right, you guys, I am feeling so com comfortable and confident and happy about my journal and getting ready to go. So during the travel, we're going to tie it up so that it doesn't, in case for some weird reason, something happens, we're going to tie it up and put a bow on it. And that way it all stays together and it is ready to be filled with fun and memories. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and um, I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.